Welcome to the Revolution 11 Bluetooth Gateway Roundup. This is Jim. Let's get into these crazy devices. A Bluetooth Gateway is a device that scans for and captures Bluetooth radio signals. All sorts of devices like beacons, sensors, phones, and other devices can send these Bluetooth signals. The gateway is attached to a network, either via Ethernet or by joining a Wi-Fi network. These gateways can easily be configured to send the captured data to cloud services such as Amazon Web Services. Revolution 11 currently supports gateways from two manufacturers. We'll go over NYX gateways first. NYX offers a variety of sensors to go along with their gateways. To give you an idea of how these gateways and sensors work, we'll show a quick demo of some of these sensors in action. Here is a small backyard chicken coop. Chickens are free range during the day, but at night they go in for safety. Using the heat and humidity sensor, we can get an alert if the temperature gets too low, and perhaps we can call another device, such as a smart plug that turns on a heat lamp. Foxes and raccoons are also a problem at night, so we're using a motion sensor so we can make a sound or turn on a light to scare them away if they paw at the coop. And finally, we want to monitor when we feed our chickens in the morning and when we collect the eggs so that we can optimize the number of eggs they lay in the coop. We can do this with magnet sensors on the doors, which will measure when we feed them in the morning and when we collect the eggs. Another example where sensors might be useful is in retail. In the past, retail deployments relied on consumers downloading an app, or they required you to log on to a website with your phone, and in essence, the phone was tracked around the store. It turns out customers did not want to download an app for every store or log into a website for every store they visited. They also weren't too hip on the idea of their movements being tracked via their cell phones throughout a store. Proximity sensors solve this problem. Customer engagement in the store can be collected in a more anonymous fashion. If you want to get a rough idea of when people come within 5 meters of a display or items, Enyx makes a human detector sensor that picks up larger items using infrared technology. They also make a sensor that sends notifications when objects come much closer to it, less than 50 centimeters. So using the data from these sensors, retailers can adjust their displays and staffing based on how their customers are interacting with objects in the store. Enyx offers a Wi-Fi gateway, which you can attach to an existing Wi-Fi network. This is a great choice if you will be leaving these gateways in place for a while. They also offer an Ethernet unit which you can power separately or with a power over Ethernet splitter if you have a power over Ethernet router. The beauty of this setup is that you configure it once and then you can just plug it into your network wherever you go. This is a great choice for construction, pop-up retail, or any other temporary location where you may want to use these gateways and sensors. Menu also produces a Bluetooth gateway. This one's a Wi-Fi gateway. Here's a little demo to give you a few ideas about what you can do with this unit and its beacons and sensors. Roger loves making his own sauerkraut. He ferments it in a cooler for about two weeks. The kraut needs to be kept at a temperature between 65 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature reaches 80, the kraut is ruined. So Roger put a temperature and humidity beacon in the cooler. While not waterproof, these beacons are pretty rugged. 
so it will be fine as long as it is not submerged. If the temperature reaches 72 degrees Fahrenheit, Roger gets a text message so he can throw some ice in the cooler. Roger can analyze temperatures over time using data from the gateway to narrow his temperature range and fermentation time. Menus beacons can broadcast in Google's Eddystone or Apple's iBeacon protocols. This makes this gateway and its beacons a great choice if you want to build applications using these beacons. For instance, Roger could attach a waterproof beacon to his kraut jar lids. An application can sense this beacon and pull up information about this particular jar and the batch it came from as it moves from fermentation in the cooler to the refrigerator. Menus beacons are also great for tracking things around the office. Say you have a projector with a beacon on it. You can get an alert when it moves and you can track it down with an app. If you have multiple gateways, you can create zones within your office so you can get a pretty good idea of where things are just using alerts. So hopefully, this gives you a pretty good understanding of what these gateways, sensors, and beacons can do. Thanks for watching. Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.